Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a front porch refresh. Um, we have been in quite a busy season in the Phelps home and that's totally okay. Um, there's a season for everything but the things in my home have been put a little bit on the back burner and I really just wanted to take a break today and get some things done and I felt like with summer coming around I really wanted to just spruce up the front porch get it cleaned up and just have it looking nice so that we can enjoy it throughout the summer season so I wanted to start off with making my own customizable sign I had this bare space in the corner of our front porch and I didn't really want to add any extra greenery although I do love a lot of greenery um, but I've seen a couple of ideas on Pinterest and Etsy and I thought I could totally make this myself so I went to Lowe's and got some pine plywood and some furring strips and we are just painting the back of this white I don't um, I guess if you're wanting more of a natural finish then I wouldn't suggest putting multiple coats on it I don't really like a perfect sign. I like them to look a little more distressed and natural and homemade. So I just did one clean coat on the base of this and just let it dry. And then I'm starting on my strips and I'm just using a stain that I already had from the previous signs that I did in my son's room. So overall, I didn't really have to spend a whole lot of money, just the money for the back of the sign, the plywood and the strips here. So everything else I already had and I just wanted to keep this as affordable and easy as possible. So I am using the Minwax Wood Finish Stain in Golden Oak. And then I am using the Valspar Ultra White Interior Paint. And I usually go with eggshell because it's very easy to keep clean and wipe down. And this was my inspiration for my sign and what I was kind of looking for. Um, but I thought this would be really cool because I could make it customizable to my space. And so I basically just worked up a little template in Canva and then pulled it into my silhouette. And this is how I come up with this. And I don't recommend using removable vinyl. I accidentally got the wrong one. And so it made it a little bit difficult for this to stick. But I know when I do have the permanent vinyl, vinyl I usually don't have a problem. So just a little tip. Don't accidentally grab the removable vinyl because it makes it kind of a pain. But I loved how the sign turned out. I thought it was perfect and I love how it looks in the space. So 
So one of the bigger purchases I made for our front porch was this coastal farmhouse wooden bench from Wayfair.com. It was about, or, well, originally it was $300, but I only paid $150 for it. So for me, that was a steal. Um, and I loved the bench that I currently had, but it kept falling apart. And I really did not how, know how to put it together safely and trust that my children wouldn't fall or get hurt on it. So I felt like this is what we needed for this space. So I put the old one by the road and someone picked it up right away. So hopefully they have the skills to put it together safely. But I'm happy that I got it out of the space and we found this bench. I needed something pretty wide. Um, about 55 inches. I wanted something to completely fill the space and this popped up immediately on Wayfair and the only issue I had with it was I was assuming based on the image on the website that it was going to be significantly lighter and actually closer to the stain of the frame of my front porch sign but it wasn't. It was like I said significantly darker but that wasn't like a complete deal breaker for me um, I didn't think it would be as easy to find something the same size and depth that I wanted for this space so I just decided you know what I'm just gonna put it together see how it looks and then I would make a decision and I'm not the kind of person that likes to send big items back so if I can make it work I'll make it work um, and worst case scenario if I had to paint it you know, I could do that too. But I actually ended up liking how it turned out and it was super easy to put together. Um, so overall, I was pretty happy with the turnout. And you'll see in a little bit, I had my little helper along. She was actually sick this day and was start, finally starting to feel a little bit better. So she wanted to get outside and get some fresh air and help her mama. So she was actually a really big help with this front porch. So I was really happy to have her out here with me. Now my little helper is going to help me sweep off this corner space for our bench and help me get this placed and our sign hung up. hard she really wanted to help me nail this up but it was actually pretty difficult for me to get in and then she kept dropping all the nails all over the place so I had to wait for her to kind of gather them all up before she would hand me the nails so you'll see us struggling just a little bit to get this sign up but we got it together and like I said I was just happy to enjoy my time with her and have her um, just be my big helper that she always is mm -hmm. 
All right, so now I'm gonna get started with adding some color in this space. I found this cute little rug in the kitchen section at Target. And this pillow was actually one that I had previously. I ordered some covers for pillows out here, but they still haven't come from Etsy yet. So we're just gonna use what we have right now. And then I have a hydrangea that I'm gonna put over here in the corner with the terracotta pot. And then I'm gonna move on to my front door space. You can see I kind of have a little collection of terracotta over here and some plants that I had earlier on um, that I'm just going to reuse and we've um, just kind of taken over from the spring and then just add a couple of extra pieces here as well. So I'm first I'm going to get this all brushed off and cleaned. I did find this cute little plant stand at Lowe's. I did want to add a little bit of height here for my rosemary plant. I absolutely love this and I thought it would be perfect by the front porch because everybody would get a nice just refreshing scent of rosemary when they walk through my front door. And I also found this simple outdoor mat in the seasonal section at Target for only $10. So that was an awesome steal as well. And now I'm just gonna reuse my lanterns and I add a couple of extra small terracotta pots. I love terracotta obviously, but um, just kind of move things around until I like what I see on the front porch. And now I am just moving on to the front porch and just tidying up the mess that I've made. And I know you're probably wondering what in the world is this cord doing across our front porch? Well, we had new internet put in and apparently we didn't have an outlet on that side of the house. So that requires an electrician because we do not have the skills to do that. So we're just having to move this thing around until we can get that situated. But I'm just gonna finish getting this all cleaned up. And then I actually found this cool little trip from a friend on Facebook and Instagram and she watches me here on YouTube and I told her I was having a problem with my ferns and the birds laying nests in them and then of course like snakes and it just was kind of creeping me out and so she told me about skewers in your ferns and it prevents the birds from laying their nests because they do not have a flat space to put them. So I thought that I would share this cool little hack because it has really helped me out so much in this area. So thank you, Michelle, for helping me save my plants. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna do my daily watering and they we are going to finish up the rest of this front porch space. Now I found my true home. I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on so second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Alright guys, so this is the final look at my front porch. I love how it turned out. I feel like we added some simple touches, but it makes it just very almost cozy and inviting as well. It didn't take a whole lot and you know, I did spend a little bit of money on the bench, but I felt like it was much needed and it's a piece that I will be able to use for years to come. And overall, I'm really happy with how everything came together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gives you a little bit of motivation to spruce up your front porch spaces as well. And maybe it'll encourage you to get outside and enjoy some vitamin D and work on an outside project too. 
and thank you so much to my subscribers for watching and supporting me. It means so much. And if you're new here, I hope you like what you see and you stick around and subscribe for more fun makeovers, DIYs, cleaning and organizing inspiration, and motherhood content as well. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.